In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to make the audio track of your final production a bit more family friendly. This came as a request from a subscriber who said, well, sometimes you're capturing audio for your project and you can't control all the dialogue and you may have some words or phrases that you'd rather not have at the end of your project because you want it to be a very family friendly kind of situation. What can you do about that? Well, I'd like to give you three different ways to approach this kind of a task. So I'm going to move to the beginning of this clip. I have a clip of a couple cooking, a mother-daughter, and then I have a narration of part of a recipe that I had someone do for me. And I had them insert the word box in several times. We're going to pretend that that word is our offensive word or term that we'd rather not have in our family-friendly audio. So I'll play a few seconds of it and you'll hear the word at least a couple of times and then we'll show you three ways to deal with it. Listen to what we hear as we play part of our track. Whisk flour, salt, and baking soda together in a box bowl. In a separate bowl, cream the butter, white sugar, and brown sugar together until mixture is light and box fluffy. Let's, let, let's look at these two occasions where we have the word box occur, which represents a, a terminology we'd rather not have in our project. If I go to this point in time, let me listen to it. And box. Okay, looks like the word box occurs and starts about in this location. So what I'm going to do, the first technique, is simply to isolate that part and then lower the volume. I'll do Control T to cut my clip. And then on the other end of box, it's about here, I'm guessing. I'll do Control T again to split it there as well. Now, what some people like to do is they'll, they'll take that phrase or word that they'd rather not have people hear and they'll put a, a sound in front of it. They will bleep it out. But I'm not a proponent of that kind of approach because I think instead of drawing attention away from it, it draws attention to it. And the other reality is oftentimes we insert in our imagination a word that we think might have been there that may be even more offensive than the word that was there originally. So uh, I would rather minimize it rather than draw attention to it. So I have this the, the word box here uh, isolated. Now what I'm going to do is click on the audio track that I cut between the two and just lower it. Now the advantage of this is that I, I don't change the sequence of my audio and video. I don't have to worry about timing issues where I get things out of sync. So if I go ahead and play this. Until mixture is light and fluffy. Three to Okay, there's a little bit of a uh, jerkiness there. I can't do much about that because I just plain lowered the audio in that segment. But otherwise, it's not a bad approach. So you just identify the word or phrase, do control T on either side, and then lower the gain in that particular segment to nothing. Let me show you another way to do that. I'll control Z out of here. If I actually want to t take that same segment and modify it, I can keyframe. So I'm going to use audio keyframes in this sense. I'm going to put a pair of keyframes at the beginning of the word box. I hold the control key down. I, I, I highlight my audio track, hover over the blue line, hold the control key down, and I, I'm going to set a pair of keyframes. And then I'm going to go after the word and set another pair of keyframes. I'm going to widen this even a little bit more so we have a little bit more detail and lower it. And now the word will, the gain level again will be uh, near zero. So let's see how this sounds. Until mixture is light and fluffy, three to four minutes, add the egg. Okay, let me give you a third option. And we'll go ahead and we'll click on Edit Audio. We'll go to the Wave Editor. If you have a copy of CyberLink that does contain the Wave Editor, obviously you can use the same technique. I'm going to magnify my audio wave a little bit. 
and we'll go ahead and play it until we get to the first word box. Whisk flour, salt, and baking soda together in a box bowl. Okay, here this is, looks like our word box here. So I don't need to use the control key here, but I'm going to use the same technique. I'm going to put two, two keyframes here and a pair of keyframes here. And then we'll lower the inner ones. And let's see what this sounds like. I, I think I'll uh, go back and magnify it a little bit differently. And we'll play. Some baking soda together in a bowl. Okay, same technique, and you can adjust the keyframes for the dip in the audio gain in order to minimize that. And when you're done, all you need to do is click on the X in the upper right hand corner of the Wave Editor save the changes. It will save it as a completely separate file and replace it in your audio track. So now I have recipe zero as well as recipe wave, which is the original. The challenge of this approach is that you cannot remove only a segment of the audio doing it. You will have to silence or lower the gain on the entire audio of the track. So it won't sound totally natural, but it will clean up the audio track if there's dialogue in there that you don't want in your finished product so it can be family friendly.